There you are. Holy smokes. Time sharp. Okay, I'm not touching anything. I'm just going to leave my hand here until you say goodbye. I'll tell you what, brother. It, it's, it, we, we made the connection, and, and, and now we're here. So we're here. I'm here with Dan, Don Sharp, Navy veteran, yes. director of government outreach, and proud member of Veterans Association of Real Estate Professionals, which is now coming to Temecula. Don, right. how are you this morning? I'm doing very good, brother. How about yourself? Brother, I'm really excited that you're here. I'm grateful for you. You're, uh, you and Jeremy talked to me about VA rep uh, for a while before I actually ended up coming over. Um, can you tell everybody a little bit uh, out of out of the Don's mouth uh, a little bit about VA rep? Well, VA rep is, of course, uh, it's, it's a great veterans organization in the industry that I work in. And that's what's important here. And, and what it is, it's kind of a three pronged approach to helping veterans secure home ownership, which is such a, a vital part to anybody, any adult's life. You know, owning a home is the most spectacular thing in the world and and being a Navy veteran. And uh, I, I always, I want to help out my my brothers and sisters who, uh, you know, my shipmates. That's what I always want to do. So yep. VA rep takes kind of a three-pronged approach into helping. We give away homes. That's easy. Anybody can do that, honestly. Uh, and we do that a lot. We've given away over 100 homes in the last few years, and that's easy. But more importantly, we're doing a couple of things and we're educating. We want to teach these guys. You know, when I exited the Navy back in 1989, that's how long it's been. You know what? They wanted to make sure that my teeth were working and my body was working and that was it. So at TAPS, I didn't hear about any of this stuff that I knew about. I learned stuff that I've learned in the last 10 years that I shouldn't have learned 30 years ago, 35 yeah. years ago. And, and, I, and it's in my mission now since I found out that this existed in my industry to – educate all the veterans and all the guys that are currently in the military. Yeah. And, and the other one is that what we do is that we're, and this is where I, the passion and, and making sure that the government affairs side of it is, is helpful is that I want to help create and change and kind of massage the, the laws that surround our loans and, and the way that our veterans are, are informed of their, uh, of their, of all their benefits. And so we do that by going to DC, we march on Washington and we're trying to get things passed and laws passed that, that guarantee that, that the veterans are going to get their benefits uh, directed to them, no matter what, they're not going to be able to be hidden. We want to make sure that if a veteran applies for a loan, that, that they get a VA loan uh, comparison along with FHA conventional, et cetera. Yes. And that's exactly. the big thing is uh, like it hasn't had to be shown up side by side before. So you've been having all of these veterans that didn't even know that it was a possibility mm -hmm. uh, as a Navy vet, as a Marine Corps vet working together with VA rep. The most exciting thing for me, quite honestly, in a lot of other ways, was to be able that you guys are affecting change, that we are affecting change that's in right. D.C., and I'm going to put this up there and it's going to be just, you know, quite honestly, we're going to get some ratings from this. But you went to the White House when we went out to D.C. That's right. And it wasn't like we were just we're meeting with we're meeting with uh, congressmen and we're meeting with senators and we're talking to their aides and we're getting bills introduced. Tell me about your experience going to the White House and this last trip in D.C. Well, it, it kind of brings it all into perspective, to be quite honest with you. You know what? We go there and we see this is the. Uh, this is the just the the absolute uh, best way to show the democracy in our world, and this is the kind of the hub of it all in the White House. And quite frankly, it, it kind of it, it it humbled me. And and I want to tell you, being there and being around these people, you know, you watch them on TV, and it just brings it back to earth that they're just men and women, just like we are, and they need to hear our voices. And you know what? They actually do. It's, it's not easy, but you know what? Marching on Washington and, and talking to the senators, talking to the representatives, they want to hear from us, and it makes a, it makes a huge difference. And it meant a lot to me to see kind of like the, this, the pinnacle of our democracy, and the White House is right in the middle of it. And I, I, it, it, was, it, was, it was a life experience for me that I won't forget. What's so cool about it is that you see these uh, – you walk in and you meet these senators and you meet their aides and you meet these congressmen, and they have, they've got a big country to run. They've got big districts to run. And if they don't know that this is an issue or if they don't know that this is a service that can be provided, then there's no way that we could judge them if we don't inform them. And so 
Um, you're, you're, you know, be part of the solution, not part of the problem. And you guys are certainly doing that. You've been serving with VA rep for how long now? Uh, this will be a fifth year. Well, I'll yeah, so. to the uh, they started and, and I am my year out. So four or five years now, four or five harder. years. And then, uh, is this your first time serving as a government affair, government first affairs? Time on the government side. First time on the government side, did membership wow. for, for a couple of years, uh, and did some outreach last year. And I'm looking forward to doing this. This right is on, this brother. So we're going to make it possible. You know, last year it was, uh, you know, we, we were able to get into some, some, some good offices. But this year, not only on the federal level, but we're going to get some state level stuff done. We're going to get some local people. They're going to start paying attention to us. I'm not going to mess around. We're, you know what, I go to everything that's that, that government affairs, not only with our local realtor board, but the local board or the boards from around the entire county. And that's, you know, we're going to get our name out there and it's going to be good. Uh, to actually bring some information back to our group as well that keeps us informed. So I'm going to be right in the middle of that. We have to affect change on a local level. We can't just be on the bottom of uh, this big national change. We have to be a part of it. And the thing is, is when we are not policing our government, when we're not helping our government, is when you see inefficient programs like Hero. That's right. Out. And it really affected a lot of people's ability to sell their homes. It is affecting people's ability to sell their homes. And, uh, and so what people need to do is they need to be involved in these entities that are a part of these, a part of the government, but are policing them, helping them and support them in January 22nd. That's what we're doing. That's exactly right. We're going to launch it to Mecula. And I tell you what, it's going to come with, open arms. I believe that we're, it's in such a, a need for this area. We're so close to March air force base. We're so close to Pendleton down in San Diego, 32nd Street. There's so many service members that live in the Valley and, and us being there and embracing the realtor community so that we can educate our brothers and sisters uh, who are veterans. I, I tell you what, it's going to be amazing. And we're going to do great things down there. I believe it. We're going to do phenomenal things. I'm super excited about it. It's one of the reasons why I shaved my face and cut my hair. Uh, it's like, I'm like, hey, you know what? If we're going to do it, let's be effective. Let's get after it. Let's do it together. And so um, I'm very excited about D.C. I'm very excited. It was the first time I'd ever been to D.C. And to go there on that level and to go to mm -hmm. Capitol Hill and to mm -hmm. have meetings with people, I was just like, We've got to get this going in Temecula. And so I'm excited that you're going to be the one leading the charge there with that. So if I could uh, ask for one thing from my fellow Navy veteran, my yes. director of government affairs here with VA rep, um, what is one thing that you could give people on um, how, how can they, what is one thing, like one big myth about uh, working with veterans or the VA loan that you could dispel that will help people in their 2019? Well, <laughs> Back in the long time ago when the VA loan kind of first came out, a lot of the, the myths that are out there now are, are, are based on fact. It used to be hard to, it used to be harder to close a VA loan than it was a conventional loan or an FHA loan. Uh, but it's just not the case anymore. Yep. If, yeah, if you guys are a realtor, dude, and, and, and the old, and they call this the old, uh, the grandpa handing down the information down to the, to the new agents. Guys, if you're a new agent, especially, and you've been told that a VA loan is harder to close than an FHA or a conventional, you are so out of touch. It is almost, it's a lot easier now. And quite frankly, you're, you would be remiss not to give it a try at least once and find out. Because, you know, with the age of technology, all those old myths now are just that. They're just myths and they're just untruths. Get your veterans into a house using a VA loan. Save them that mortgage insurance, for goodness sake. God, gosh, that's a killer, especially with the housing prices are now. Get them in with a VA loan. And that's the biggest thing you can do, man. You can save them a ton of money. They can buy new cars. They can buy, uh, they can save that money. They can do all that money instead of paying for mortgage insurance. It's not easier to do any other loan than this. It's just as easy to do a VA loan. That's the biggest myth. And I want to tell everybody all day long, every realtor, do it. Don't, don't yep. think that it's because it's not. Yeah. And, and, and so it's really nice that we've got uh, Tally Man is saying, hey, we're here to support you. He's been to D.C. Uh, he's there regularly. We've got our fellow um, VA rep board member, Charles uh, Vamadiva. Well done. Um, mm -hmm. Come be a part of this. This isn't something that I want you to sit on the sidelines and watch us do. Justin Bringus is giving you some love. Justin, come be a part of this. 
We want to see you there on January 22nd. Become a VA loan expert. Shatter these misconceptions. Educate your clients. Educate your sellers on uh, on how to work with veterans. It's a better way to do these things. So um, anything in closing, my friend? Yeah, you make a good point. And, and for all the lenders out there, you guys want to be part of something special. This is a great one to be at. And, and you know what? Honestly, go out there. If you're offering a VA loan, get out there and talk to your realtors and let them know. Let them know this is a this is a great opportunity to serve the people. This is an untapped, re, uh, just a whole area in, in that in that valley for veterans that you can really make a difference on. I really believe that. So go out there and do that. Help us out. That's right. Whether you are a veteran, whether you are a patriot, um, whether you are uh, entitled, if you are a lender, if you're a real estate agent, wherever you are working in the industry, if you can help us be a part of the problem instead of or be a part of the solution instead of part of the problem and help more veterans use their VA loan, stop with all of the garbage that we've been perpetuating over time. The VA loan is not what it used to be. There are experts out there that know what they know. I wasn't an expert four years ago. That's but right. I surrounded myself with experts. I have become one by proxy. Come join us January 22nd, January or, or January 22nd. Hello, Karen with a K. Good morning, soldier. I hope to see you there January 22nd from 12 to 2. Come get some lunch, hang out That's with some right. good people. And uh, yeah, thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks, David. Have a good rest of your day, my brother. Okay, brother. Thank you. See you soon.